Hi, um, I'm Heather Robinson. Um, I'm 19 years old and I'm from St Joseph's. Um, and I'm here today because um, I really do enjoy debating. So I'm looking forward to all the debates today. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the topic of the first debate today is population. Do you think there are too many people? Um, I do. I, I think the world we live in has, well, it's clearly running out of resources, um, food, um, energy resources, um, and even things as simple as space for people to live in. Um, you just have to look over in countries like India, where you have people living in slums with an awful lot of people crammed into the smallest amount of space possible. Um, but I do think with the population thing, we have it's very easy to look at developing nations and say they have too many people, we should solve that problem over there. We in the developed West, we're fine. Um, but I think that's a very naive idea. And um, you have to think in a developed nation how much more resources one person in a developed country takes up compared to, say, maybe five people in a developing nation. Mm -hmm. OK, lovely. And um, the, on the question of technical fixes, do you think they're a good or a bad idea? In theory, I don't like the idea of technical fixes um, because, well, I mean, personally, every time I get a piece of technology, I manage to break it. Um, <laughs> and it does sound like you're creating um, a quick fix which might have bigger problems in the future. But... I think it's a, only a natural progression. We can't fix things ourselves. We can't, I don't know, um, make more crops grow. We have to have a technical way of doing things. Um, and I think it's quite unfair on technology at the moment that we look down with such contempt and think it's awful, whereas you just look at the Industrial Revolution. Britain wouldn't be the same if it hadn't been for things like the spinning jenny, which was hated by so many people. Mm -hmm. um, we need new technology to be able to develop. And yes, it does sometimes cause a lot more problems than it's worth, but we are developing and refining technology. So I think eventually, technology probably will be the only thing we can do to fix problems. Mm -hmm.